Me, and I am here with Sue Bryce, and we are here to talk about the Portrait Masters Conference, which is crazy because it feels like we just had the <laughs> Portrait Masters Conference. And now we're talking about the Portrait Masters Conference in 2024 because it's moved from September to March. So it's happening so quickly. So welcome, Sue. I'm so excited to talk to you today. Yeah, I'm glad we came up such a good one because then we don't have to wait a whole year for the next one. So I'm super excited about going to Vegas this year. Hi, everyone. Yeah. Yeah, so that's one of the big things to talk about. Um, A lot of you heard this when we were talking about um the the last uh, TPM, which happened in September in Arizona, that it would be the last time it was held in Arizona, but we didn't have a lot of details other than this next one would be in March and in Vegas. And today, we're so excited to tell you all the details. Um, so let me just give you an overview super quick, and then I'll have Sue chime in with her favorite things about it. So first of all, the conference is going to be two days and it's going to be inside of WPPI, which is super, super cool. So it's going to be at the Mirage in Las Vegas. And the Portrait Masters, though, will still be its own like little enclave, a little separated um, community within WPPI. So we're still going to have all the things that you're super familiar with and you love about the conference. So we're going to have six industry leading speakers. That's three speakers per day um, because the conference is two days. And then we're going to have our own um, big room with our own exclusive TPM shooting bays. There's going to be over 15 bays. Um, so think of that as if you remember the shootout that we did in 2021 this is going to be so much like the shootout and I remember that the shootout was so popular and people are always asking when are you guys going to do the shootout again so um that's really what this is going to be like then we have two exclusive parties just for TPM um, and then, of course, all the networking you love, plus with your conference ticket, you are going to have access to everything happening at WPPI as well. So WPPI has over 66 speakers um, and photo walks that you have access to and workshops. And there's a trade show floor with 80 plus vendors. So just to put this into perspective, the TPM conference trade show only had about 30 vendors. So you're going to get almost triple the vendors when you go to the WPPI trade show. Um, and then um, we are just going to have like a really amazing time just the like just the TPM community for two days, and then we can extend it out to the bigger WPPI uh, universe for the rest of the week. So I don't know, Sue, can you tell us a little bit about why you're so excited about this new concept? Well, the shootout in September, if you remember, which was our first event back, was just shooting base. It was no vendors whatsoever. So that's why that is so cool, because it's a room of shooting yeah. for you to just go in and go crazy. And since the last TPM, I've added 10 new pieces to our wardrobe. And so <laughs> I've got, I know I'm going to start sharing some reels. I've been taking lots of reels. I'm also repurposing this massive wardrobe. And like last year, I thought, is this the end of this wardrobe? I'm going to break it up and start selling it. But now the shootouts have become such a huge thing and we're just styling them better and better. We have this amazing stylist that we work with. And I'm also sending a whole lot of the old big gowns to T in the next two weeks to repurpose them all. So I'm going to have a whole lot of new stuff. So I love that whole shooting area. But what I love is that it's still going to be um, portrait over here for two days. So just a couple of things that people might not be aware of is WPPI is a five-day event. And there's just so many other speakers other than portrait. So it's wonderful to be able to have us over here. And we've got a floor plan because this hotel is really unique. We've actually got an entire area that's dedicated just to us. So you'll see the main um, vendor rooms, you'll see this massive shooting room, but that central sort of wellness center is um, all for us. And it's got such an awesome meeting point in the middle. Same format as usual, but you're in Vegas, yeah? And you are with a whole lot more, thousands more other photographers. So I can imagine our evenings and our parties are going to be even more off the charts. 
Yeah. And also Vegas is easier to get to for a lot of people. The hotel, the Mirage is um, more affordable than the exactly. Arizona Grand was. So um, it's a lot more accessible, I think, which is really amazing. And then you have all the fun that also Las Vegas has to offer as well on your free And time. all the food. Let's get that clear because yeah. food is a really big thing for people. You'd be surprised when you run a conference how many people you know, when they, they really just want lots of options and be able to access food. And the good thing about Vegas is they, they accommodate every level of accommodation, mm -hmm. but they also pretty much accommodate just about any diet. Um, you know, not that it's always a good diet. <laughs> Yeah, you can <laughs> yeah. get vegan food easily or anything you really want. And you can but have it's it food courts galore. Yeah, it's yeah. so easy and it's so much fun. And I'm, I, I can't wait. I haven't been to Vegas for a long time. <laughs> um, so let me just break down the logistics so everyone is super clear. So again, this is going to all happen WPPI and TPM at the Mirage in Las Vegas. Um, and we have like, a room rate. So if you are part of it, I think you get that special rate. Um, and we are a um, private area in the wellness. It's called the wellness center, but don't worry about the term wellness. It just means like we are maybe um, we can pull up a little graphic that we made of the map, but we're basically our own area in the entire conference area. So we're not far away from everyone, but we're also a little bit segmented off so we can still have our own community feel. The dates are March 3rd and 4th, which are the Sunday and the Monday. And that is the first two days of WPPI. So WPPI is the 3rd through the 7th. Um, and do you believe yeah. that, Ashley, is the exact date, March 3rd, that I first went live on Creative Live in oh. 2012 was March 3rd, 4th and 5th. So I'll be 12 years standing on that stage that I did my very first live broadcast. That's crazy. And that was the broadcast that I discovered you and changed my life. So that's really oh, yeah. full circle thing I think for yeah. so many of us um and one thing I'm really excited to announce is that the ticket price of TPM this year is going to be $799 so that is the lowest price it's ever been for reference when we did just the shootout in 2021 the price range of that was 2000 to 2500 and last year like in September, so I guess this year's uh, TPM conference was $1,800. So $799 is an incredible deal. And you're getting, you know, access to our speaker lineup, our parties, um, and of course, our amazing shooting bays. And you're getting also with that a pass to continue on and enjoy everything that WPPI has to offer as well. So the value here is just insane. I mean, what do you think of that price point too? Because <laughs> it took my breath away. Well, you know, we've always tried to make the price point relative to how many people and what you're experiencing. And and I feel like we built this incredible boutique conference. But you, when you build a boutique conference, you stop a lot of people from being able to come to it that is not mm -hmm. at that price point. And we were always conscious of that, like not having to squeeze new businesses out, but rather get them in. I feel like this time with the cheaper Vegas, we're going to get a lot more people that will come and experience it because they get the double whammy of WPPI, but they also have the accessibility of Vegas. So yeah, I mean, it it was such a unique conference and it was so, you know, isolated and it was so designed just for us. But this is exactly the same just inside another conference. So it makes sense that we dropped the price and I'm so glad that we did. Yeah, I'm really glad too, because I think there's so many people just starting their portrait journey. Um, we have so many new members that are really just discovering the portrait system for the first time, and they're going to be able to um, hopefully take advantage of this the same way our longtime members are going to be able to take yes. advantage of this. So Can I just say to to all photographers out there, regardless this is the kind of place you can travel to with your partner. <laughs> you yeah, know, it's a cool thing because it's like, hey, let's go to Vegas for three or four days. And that's a big ask, but it's also something you can do together because there's just so many cool things you can do in Vegas. 
Yeah, that's so true. Or like even photographers who are friends. It's I, I remember like my very first WPPI, which was a long time ago, maybe like 2010. Um, we I I had like four or five photographer friends and we drove in a car from LA and then you know between the big group of us we shared two rooms and it was like you know we had we had no money at the time our businesses were just starting out but we had so much fun like sometimes I'm so nostalgic for those moments where we just were at the beginning and it was just like a bunch of friends just getting together and making this work and and sharing the costs of the rooms and everything to make it um, more fun so <laughs> you could totally do that if you're just starting out or if you just want to hang out with your friends sometimes it's just fun to get a suite and hang out with your friends <laughs> Um, okay, yeah. so Sue, so let's get into the speakers because we have some amazing speakers booked in. Um, so like I said, there's six speakers, three each day. One of them is you, which I'm always so excited to hear you speak. We also have Jay Mayhew, and I love oh, her work. She's so yeah. inspiring. Um, and then Jay was one of our highest rated speakers for the online conference in 20 when we couldn't do it because of COVID. And oh. she blew everyone away. So she's going to be a really good stage presence. Yeah, I'm really excited to see her. And then we awesome. have Sophia Barrett. Oh, my goodness. And if you do not know this woman's work, would you go and follow her on Instagram? You've just yeah. never seen anything like the sets that, that she builds. And it's mind-blowing. And I need to A, meet her. But B, I want to learn from her because I... I have to stop myself after looking at her Instagram from going online <laughs> and buying all of this stuff. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, it's and so then we good. have Jeremy Cowart, who was on the stage in September for one of the shootouts, right? Yeah, I met Jeremy at WPPI in 2011. He's a phenomenal speaker, incredible artist unbelievable photographer but every single time I put Jeremy on stage at one of our events or I've been at an event I'm reminded when I talk to the audience because the big question I always ask everyone is who did you like and why um, I the feedback I get around Jeremy is truly extraordinary he is to the core like just such a giving talented amazing speaker and I know that you guys will get so much from him and then we have um, a couple that go by Creative Soul, but their names are Karan and Regis Bethencourt. Um, and so they empower children of color through celebrated photography. And Again, an Instagram that you will just get absolutely <laughs> mesmerized by. And I cannot wait. I have not met either of them in person. So I can't wait to meet with both of them, because they're a husband and wife team, and um, they're truly incredible. So yes, wow. Yeah, I and like I think they went viral for their collaborating with Disney to reimagine the Disney princesses in an Afrocentric style. So their work is just really beautiful. So it's that's going to be really exciting to see them yeah. on stage together. Um, so I kind of, when I announced you, I, I skipped over you a little bit. So can you tell everyone what you are, are going to speak about this year or is it a secret? Oh, no, I'm doing confidence. Confidence. I'm I'm really have just sat down. I've been writing self-value workshop for the last 12 months. So I'm really am just have got about 67,000 words just sitting back there. And most of it has really come down to people just want to be confident enough to you know, build a business, sell themselves, um, put themselves out there as a photographer, market themselves, network themselves, walk into a room with confidence, not be an imposter, and then charge the prices that they know they're worth. And you know, Ashley, there's just this gray area between being in our group and watching people break through and you get stuck sometimes. It might take you one year longer or two years longer. And it's frustrating. But 
the thing is, is that really you watch people come into their confidence and sometimes you even in your ego look at their work and think my work's better. Yes, it probably is. My work was better than a lot of people, but my value and my confidence was not there. And I had to learn how to be really strong and confident in business and selling and pricing myself so that I could get to being sustainable. So I've got this super powerful keynote prepared about powering up your business and confidence so that you can actually break through to whatever that next level you are trying to break through is. I'm really excited for this. I feel like too, it's really important to always come back to this because we're always reaching new levels. Like there's always a new journey for us. And so even if we've like myself been on this journey for a long time, it doesn't mean you plateau. Well, I don't want to plateau. You want to keep growing. And every level has a lot like a intimidation factor, I think. Um, like, can you know, I really do that next thing? You know, so coming back to self-value over and over again is just really key. It, to me, it's you're either growing creatively, right? So you either get bored or you're you're making money. So you're cookie cutting and then you start to just cookie cut. You're, you're just cutting cookies every day instead of making a masterpiece like you were trying so hard to do in the beginning. And when you get there, you feel uninspired, you feel unfulfilled and business and taxes and pricing and sales and bad client experiences can make you feel, I don't want to do this. I just wanted to take beautiful pictures. Like I didn't want to get stuck here. So if you're not growing creatively, then you're usually growing in confidence or financially. And then once you grow a little bit more in confidence, you grow financially, you start to look at your creativity and you're like, I think I can do more. So you're in this constant battle of being more of a creative and staying connected and being more of a business owner and making money. And, you know, I always found this incredible power in both of those, but I also overbalanced Every single time I would go too much business, start hating my life, too much creativity, not making enough money. So I learned how to really bring those two together. And so whatever you're doing next, whether you're growing creatively or you're going to the next level in your business or you're going to the next level in your money, it's just another glass ceiling and it's another level to smash through. So it's that's the best part about going around the mountain. You just keep going up and up. <laughs> yes, that that is ringing true for me. <laughs> um, so we have named five amazing speakers, and then we do have one mystery speaker. So stay Ooh. tuned to find out who that is. Um, and Sue, so let's talk about the shooting base for a second. Um, again, this year, it's going to be a little different than TPM conferences. Um, it will be more like the shootout because instead of the shooting bays being mixed with a trade show floor, we are just going to have a room that is exclusively for shooting, again, more reminiscent of the shootout. Um, and this is just, they're always so mind-blowing, um, so beautiful. Terry's self, um, self-love, self body love uh, bay is going I mean, to be back. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll have a confidence catwalk every night and do everything Terry Hofford as we should every year. She should have her own Terry Hofford alley at <laughs> every conference to empower every human being. Absolutely. Okay, let's. Let's understand one thing. Why would you put shooting bays in a vendor's room at the Portrait Masters? Because if you listen to speakers and you don't want to go into the vendor's room, um, you don't go in there. And I noticed that for vendors who pay to be at these shows, to show their work and connect, they're really just there to meet photographers that use their products and show their products to more photographers. And yet, weirdly, we walk around the show with that same don't sell to me kind of attitude because we do that everywhere. It's just human nature. So my idea was put these beautiful shooting bays at every vendor's so that you would stop, wait to photograph, have this incredible experience, take an incredible photograph, 
and speak to the vendor there and have a look at their products. And it was just a perfect marriage of being able to explore the show, but also being there for yourself. And um, so the fact that it's now more separate, just so you're clear, we're putting a lot of shooting bays into the WPPI vendor room. But our two days is just shooting bays. And I'm already designing them now. I'm designing headpieces. I'm designing actual, I've designed three completely different sets, which I'm going to ship up. Um, of course, we always have Oliphant. And Sarah hand paints Oliphants for us. It's just insane. And then we have all these beautiful pro photo lights and we usually have aperture constants as well. So we give people a good mix of being able to shoot constant and strobe. And yeah, we just have beautiful, diverse, incredible models and uh, an amazing wardrobe. Yeah, I I love the shooting bays every year. I feel like you and the team outdo themselves on just the the beauty and the epicness and the creativity. I feel like especially this past September conference had just an unparalleled level of um, creativity and diversity. So I'm really excited for these shooting bays and for people to experience them. And you did bring up a good point that um, within the WPPI conference that everyone who buys a TPM ticket will have access to the full WPPI pass, including the trade show. In the WPPI trade show, there will be shooting bays mixed throughout, um, but they'll just be different styling. They won't be like, I mean, they'll be awesome, but they won't exactly be our TPM special. Well, I'll be styling some of them. Oh, you I'm will? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, that's exciting. Uh, so I just want to do a shout out to our stylist because she's been doing, yeah. I mean, you know, Brie is, uh, runs that whole hair and makeup team mm -hmm. and she's just phenomenal. This team she has here in Arizona, mind blowing. She's just going to bring them to Vegas. So, but the cool part is, is our stylist, her name is Jess and she owns a company called Naked Rebellion. Oh, wow. And I just want to shout out to um, Jess and Naked Rebellion on Instagram. If you check her out, she does affiliates. So if you're a photographer and you photograph boudoir, or you photograph women, you can be an affiliate for her underwear. It is um, size friendly and it's body positive and it's skin positive. So it's all the shades right through to dark and it's so beautiful and she launched this brand because she was a stylist and she noticed that she wasn't getting nude underwear for any of her women of color so she created her own and now Naked Rebellion's kind of become this cool brand well it's definitely a cool brand this kind of become a big thing so check it out because if you like affiliates you can share what she's doing and she's got this amazing setup but this woman is incredible and you should follow her I just want to give her a shout out yeah I love that thanks because I didn't I didn't know that yeah. <laughs> um so I'm like as soon as we're done I'm gonna go follow her on Instagram so naked rebellion on yeah. Instagram yeah um okay so and then we have the TPM parties let's not skip over this um I feel like there are two parties that have been a part of the TPM experience that are near and dear to our hearts um, if you've been coming to the conference for a long time or even if you just went for the first time in September or even if you've never been, you've probably heard about them. Um, one is the silent disco party and two is the karaoke party. And both those parties are still going to be a part of our event in Vegas. So Sunday night will be the silent disco and Monday will be the karaoke. So Sue, do you have a favorite party or a favorite memory from each party? Well, I have a favorite memory because, you know, I play a game at every party because, <laughs> you know, it's can you find me? And that like it takes it took everyone about I, I think I got found in about 40 minutes this year. <laughs> but um, really I don't know the theme. What is the biggest theme? Do we know that yet? Because we haven't you know, announced it yet. Photographers so love dressing up, it seems, because our silent disco is always epic. But um, who knew that we had so many singers? Like, I'm kind of blown away. <laughs> the karaoke is so good. It's all, it's like, wait, <laughs> <laughs> photographers can sing? Yeah, I know. There's a lot of talent in our community, yeah. it seems like, between um, 
singing, performing, dressing up in hilarious and creative <laughs> ways. Because, um, I mean... Actually, you know what? I do have a favorite. The showstopper for me, I think must have, I don't even know what year it was. I'm going to say 18, uh, when The Handmaids came in. Oh, yeah, that was really good. That just, remember, they just walked in and they were double single, they were double file and they had their heads down and they were holding hands and then they went into the circle in the middle of the dance floor and they didn't speak. And it was just such an incredible moment. And all of those photographers were from different countries and they'd all arranged this to have these outfits made and they turned up and they did it and it just blew everyone away. I mean, that was something that I'll just never forget. Yeah, that was a really good one. And then like just in September, um, David Franco and Nicholas were they like the shark? I don't know. It's like an oct, a squid, an oct. They had the blow up costumes, and there was this like little video of them like walking, leaving the party, like <laughs> bouncing, toddling, and their little tails. And it was so like that video makes me laugh just thinking about it. Oh my gosh, that was so funny! <laughs> it was such an incredible event this last September, and it was you know that was my last you know, boutique conference. And now that it's becoming this new thing, I feel like I get to go. I mean, I have to speak one day, but I feel like I get to be an attendee and I get to actually enjoy it for the first time again, because I haven't enjoyed it for the last 10 years because it's (laughs) such a lot of work. And now I can just show up and now I feel like I'm really get to enjoy it. So yeah, I'm going to have to give my outfit. I'm going to have to, yeah. The, the trick is I try to get into the party incognito to see <laughs> how long it takes people to find me. And uh, so every year I have to up my game. Yeah, you did. I mean, the twin Barbie look that you did with Christina was very hard to tell which one of you was which. So I know, but the ruse was Elena Blair is my height and we have the same length here. And so Elena and Christina were supposed to be the twins and I was just going to be switching out with Elena. Oh, that's Elena got called home. And so it was just me, uh, Christina. So we just swapped about. So 11 people asked Christina for a selfie. (laughs) <laughs> and, and whispered to her I know it's you so oh that's <laughs> so no one asked me for a selfie so it was really funny I was like I got away with it for a good 40 minutes <laughs> that's so funny um okay so I just want to recap for people that this is all taking place at the Mirage Hotel in Las Vegas and we have a special discounted rate for attendees um And you're going to want to stay at the Mirage. So just like when we had TPM in Arizona, really wanted to stay at the Arizona Grand to really take the most advantage and make it easy on yourself and have the best time and the most time to connect with everyone. Same thing here. I know there's lots of hotels in Vegas, but we would really encourage you to stay at the Mirage where all the action is. It's easy to just come down the elevator from your room and walk over to um, the conference areas and the parties. Um, And of course, you can still take an Uber or a cab or anything to enjoy everything else Vegas has to offer if you want. But staying at the hotel is just going to be the best bet. Um, That way you won't feel left out. Um, So, um, and also I'm just getting a note that we do have some questions from the the internet from our group. So um, I do want to just quickly answer these. So one person asked, can we still bring our spouses or partners to parties? And it's the answer is yes, but they won't get drink tickets. Um, But yes, they can still come. And another thing was, does the price include access to WPPI? So in case I didn't make this clear, yes, when you come to TPM and you buy your TPM ticket, you're going to get access to all of WPPI and everything um, WPPI has to offer for free. Um, For the shooting bays, the question is how many bays are in the shooting bay room? So our TPM exclusive shooting bays, there's going to be 15 plus and in the WPPI trade show, there are going to be 20 plus. Um, so lot. lots of opportunities. <laughs> and then, Sue, I'm going to let you answer this one, although I could answer it as well, is what is a confidence catwalk 
with Terry. Oh, wow. Yes, you've done her body image boot camp. So you yes, know how good I it loved is. it. <laughs> First, Terry has a body positive booth. So she specifically has body positive models models who are working in the Instagram space, usually online, um, sharing their beautiful bodies. So it's a very body positive shooting space. And it's also the highest energy shooting base that you will find at any show because Terry brings the magic and all of her people are the same. And at five o'clock when the show would shut down at six o'clock, actually, um, she would put on the loudspeaker if you want to meet at her shooting bay. Um, to just go to a shooting bay at six o'clock and, and then they turned on the music and we did uh, a catwalk through the show of anybody that <laughs> wanted to just walk. You could take your clothes off if you wanted to. You could walk fully clothed. Um, I grabbed angel wings and I'm dancing down the catwalk and people were just joining us. And then all the models joined from all of the shooting bays and then just men and women that just wanted to walk in confidence. And we just did this massive Congo line through the conference. We went around twice and we played loud music and lots of people took their clothes off and it was just extraordinary and watching the vibe and everybody who didn't join the catwalk was filming and, you know, it's just classic Terry Hoffert. Yeah. it It's really magical to see people feel so confident and just, embrace each other and even if you didn't join in like cheering people on from the sidelines there's really positive energy it's, it's terry is just able to foster a community that really releases judgment and really embraces people on a soul level and i just admire that it's power. pretty magical isn't it and i think too right at the time you know all the girls are all looking at each other old older younger doesn't matter everybody we're all just there in a melting pot and everybody's in that hey barbie era <laughs> where everybody is being their barbie and everyone was just in just complete space of love and it's magic and it and it needs to happen more and you watch an entire community that experiences that watch them change because i you know just seeing it is magical yeah. So I hope that answers the question for those of you who are wondering what the confidence catwalk is. Um, but if you still can't understand it, come and experience it because I really feel <laughs> like Terry's energy is one of those things that you could talk about it all the time, but experiencing it is a totally different thing. And that's that's really where the transformation and the magic happens is when you actually get to experience um, Terry's magic and what the confidence catwalk is. So I would mm -hmm. encourage you to come and experience it. And just so um, you know, every one of those shooting bays, we have a focus on making sure that every human being in there is just the most seen. That's it. Like everybody has to be completely seen. Like every single person, all of our shooting bays, we think about who they are and what they're going to wear and what they represent because it's really cool to walk into a space with lots of diversity and also just experience really unique people and different people and I was like that is what this conference has always been and it should never stop being that yeah I mean one of the things that I will always like be so thankful to discovering you for is I think your entire career you've also put an emphasis on that the photo shoots are for making everyone feel special and empowered and showing just so much diversity on your website so that when people are looking to hire you, they see, oh, you know how to photograph someone who looks like me. That's actually really important. And I think before you came along and obviously before Terry came along, uh, it was so prevalent to see a very stereotypical one kind of type person on a photographer's website. And it's just such a transformation that's happened over the last 12 years. Um, and and especially in the last more few recent years since uh, Terry's really been transforming this community. So I think that's just so important too, that when we're going to these shooting bays and we're creating these images and they're diverse and we're putting them on our social media and our website, that's making a really big impact in how our clients are feeling welcome and seen into work. Well, you know, you tend to photograph people in your community and the yeah. people in your community often look just like you. 
And the one thing I look back at now after all these years was I was pushing the envelope. Like Terry has been able to go way beyond now. The doors are just swinging open and she's leading a charge. And it's time when you look online and you just see this this new voice rising, if you photograph women, which 99.9% .9 of you do 99% of the time, you know, open up to this beautiful world of connecting what this modern version of body image and beauty is, because it's so much more now than what it used to be. And it's now starting to just become pandemic this body image love so get on board in whatever way even if you just one of the dudes and you just want to learn more about it like you photograph women that means you empower them you hold space for them learn why they're standing in front of you and learn what makes them feel beautiful like this whole new wave of photographing is changed all of us and it's making us better photographers, better humans, and certainly better parents because now we've got a better message for our kids, don't we? Mm -hmm. To an example to them. So it's just such a beautiful thing. I love it. I can't wait for you. If you not have experienced Terry yet, I can't wait for you to come and experience that. Yeah. And that's a really good segue into just talking a little bit about the WPPI of everything. So as we mentioned, this conference is happening the first two days of WPPI. And when you buy your TPM conference ticket, you get access to everything that WPPI has to offer that whole week as well. So um, WPPI is going to have 66 seminar classes um, from Monday to Thursday of that week. And you get access to attend as whichever one of those that you want. And that would um, inspire you and help you in your career and um, broaden your education and your horizon. So um, just to give you an idea, Terry is going to be one of the speakers. So we've been talking about Terry and she will be a speaker at WPPI. I will be speaking at WPPI. I'm really excited about that. This will be my second year. So um you know, that's just two names, but there's obviously so many photographers who are incredible speakers that will be there. And then WPPI has its own events and parties as well. There is a welcome reception, an opening night party. Um, there's a WPPI shootout. There's a wrap party. So you get access to not just the TPM exclusive parties, but all these incredible WPPI events as well. And then there are 70 plus photo walks that are available as add-on purchases. So you can participate in those as well. Um, and I've seen incredible images come out of those photo walks in years past. I know you can really learn a lot. They're more intimate groups than the big seminar classes. Um, so I think this is just a really cool opportunity to not just attend TPM, but get to experience two conferences. It's kind of like two conferences for the price of one. Um, what is like? What is your feeling about WPPI being a part of TPM this year or TPM being a part of WPPI? <laughs> well, my first conference experience was WPPI in 2010 also. So I was an attendee. I spoke for the first time in 11 and did my first creative live in March after my first big platform at WPPI. I met my husband at WPPI and fun fact, I still have a 702 phone number because I was oh, traveling yeah. <laughs> back then, I was living in Sydney, Australia. So I traveled from Sydney and I got a SIM card in Vegas to go to the show and I got the 702 number. And then I used, I took it home with me and I would travel back and speak in the US for about two years before I moved here. And I would just reactivate the SIM. So when I moved here, that is the same phone number I've had <laughs> since 2010. And, and I call it, people always say, how come you have a Vegas number? And I always say, well, it was my first stop in the US was Vegas and I met my husband. So <laughs> it was, yeah, that's crazy. But, um, you know, WPPI has been through a lot. It, there were 16,000 photographers back then. And that's Remember? a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and it was a massive community. And like any big business or show or anything, they just evolve and they change. And, you know, it declined for a long time. 
And then last year, I feel like, well, the year before, at the end of COVID, you know, when we sort of talked about bringing that back, and because that's obviously um, Aaron and George, they got stuck into creating what would really bring that back. And I walked around that show. And I remember thinking that this is just such an incredible meeting point for photographers all around the world. I got so excited about um, all the new photographers there because there's always new photographers. But what I really love is coming from Australia, it was like going to the Emmys. I can't even describe it to you. I was just this, you know, I mean, we had an industry in Australia that was big and New Zealand that's big for professional photographers, but nothing like this. And we, I just, I remember just standing there for the first time and just thinking, whatever this is, I want to do this. I want all of this. Like, I want to be part of this. I want to be on that stage. I want every part of this. That's how I felt in 2010. So to watch it um, grow again has been the best part. And I feel like it's just this now combining us. You know, maybe you were split for the last four years because you were like, oh, I would go to WPPI, but I'm going to TPM. Now you get to do both. And now we get to see a whole lot more people that we probably wouldn't have got had we stayed here away from it. And now we get to build this massive ecosystem again where all of these incredible brands are now functioning at one place. So we can all meet and party in the middle. And that means we have better trade shows because more vendors come. And the more people you have, the more vendors come, the more people want to come and put into the show. The show just builds and grows. So this is the year that people are going to find their groups again. And, you know, I just keep saying to all speakers, we're back in a central place. Call out to your people. Say, where are my people at? Boudoir, where are my people at? Check out all the boudoir speakers we've chosen. You know, portrait, where are my people at? Come on down. We're all going to be there two full days. You know, we've got it all. Wedding, commercial, it's all there. So call to your people and get them back and get all these communities rallied again around one event that's bringing us all back together again because it's nice being two days in your own little bubble. But it's also nice being in the other world, watching other speakers and a lot of our photographers cross niches in portrait they might do newborn and boudoir they might do whatever so it's really cool to be able to expand out and get the best of both worlds and um I think it's the best thing yeah we could have done yeah. I'm really excited to experience it yeah I'm I'm really excited as well I think also from just like a like just simply logistical level instead of having to take time out of your business in March and time out of your business in September, which can be kind of hard <laughs> because that's time that you're not working and it's time that you're away. Um, now we can do it all in one week <laughs> as well. So just from a really like logistical perspective to get so much value out of one week is just going to be really great. And I think you're totally right with a lot of portrait photographers don't just do one genre of portrait. Some of us have really niched down, but a lot of us might do boudoir and branding and, you know, maternity and maybe some still shoot weddings. Like there's a lot of crossover. So to mm. have access to WPPI where you can learn or maybe you want to get into a new genre of, of photography or you want to make another genre more profitable because you're realizing you enjoy it more like that education is going to be available to you so it's really really powerful yeah. um so, so it's all very exciting everything every part of it that I've seen so far is like old school um and I can't wait. I'm super excited about that. Also, I think um, for a lot of photographers, uh, you will be able to experience um, the bigger trade shows, I think makes a really big difference too, because especially when the big vendors come, because they bring everything and it's so, it's more, more of an experience, right? Being in the show that way and um, easier to kind of also get time out too, would you believe you can actually get time out in Vegas. Yeah. And I think you're right too about the bigger trade show. Cause I was just thinking about 
me at the WPPI trade show last year, there were so many vendors I had not heard of before. Um, and they were all coming to WPPI because that has so high of like there are, like you said, so it's not a boutique conference. It's something that attracts so many people. And it really opened my eyes to I didn't know that this was available or I didn't know that these yeah. things exist. So it's really cool to be able to have access to that many vendors. You might not use those different companies, but you might, or you might just start a relationship with them. So it's really, it is really just cool. go and introduce yourself to as many people as you can. You'll always be blown away by who you meet and how it helps you on your step forward. And I guarantee you, if you come to the first two days of the portrait masters and wear a red ribbon, which is I'm traveling solo. Um, our red ribbon means that you are announcing that you would like to sit at anybody's table. You would like to be invited to the table because red ribbon travelers mean, hey, I'm here. I've got no one traveling with. I guarantee anybody that shows up to the first two days with a red ribbon on will be going into WPPI with some brand new friends. Yeah. I, I've I watched people make lifelong best friends at our conference every single year this year, no exception. Yeah, that's it's so true. Like the networking that comes from, um, and it's more than networking, it's friendships that yeah. come from attending the connection. Conference. Yeah. yeah, like For are sure. so valuable. And I think we talked about this when we were talking about TPM in September last year, like leading up to that, but I have now, thanks to the TPS community, thanks to the TPM conferences and attending WPPI, made so many relationships that like I could be traveling to Switzerland or just someplace really far flung. And there's people who, you know, might want to grab lunch or could like rent their gear out to me. Um, it's just really crazy that I have made connections like almost on every piece of the globe after being really involved in this community. And it's something I don't take for granted. It's really nice to know there are people out there who will help you. And I mean, same thing, I would help them as well. So um, it's just really powerful to have those connections with other photographers. You know, um, what makes a community is the people in it. It's that simple, right? And we have such an incredible team of people and we attract this incredible group of people. And if you were at September show, you you just know that's the whole vibe. That is what everyone feels. But it only stays that way if we keep building it. So, you know, right now the community is um, just so beautiful to be in. And I left on a high after that show. And I can't wait to speak at this one and um, see everyone and also just experience it. So. Yeah. I'm going to see you all in Vegas. <laughs> um, I want to just uh, cover the fact that um, when you buy, like we've said, when you buy the TPM ticket, you're getting access to WPPI. But I want to be clear that you're getting the WPPI Platinum Pass, which is basically the VIP level of a WPPI ticket. So normally a Platinum Pass to WPPI is $4.99. But that's included in that $7.99 price you're paying for a TPM ticket. So you're paying $7.99, but you're also getting this $500 pass um, as part of that. You're getting it for free. And again, the VIP pass also includes some extras in addition to everything that we've already talked about. So for example, there's an exclusive cocktail party mixer that is with all the WPPI speakers. Um, so that's really cool because um, you can make great connections that way. You also have access to like one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions and image critiques and um, fast pass entrances to the evening events and to select seminars. So um I think it's really cool that you don't just get access to WPPI, but you get VIP access to WPPI. So I really wanted to make sure that we hit that home because I think that's such a high value. Wouldn't you agree? Sue? Oh, sorry. I was coming in via satellite. Then I totally agree with you. I mean, you know what? Um, just having the mentors there uh, what really blew me away about three conferences ago was how everybody just got to actually start having more time with them. And so then we created the mentor 
base and then we created meet the mentors and then there were lines out the door because people got to actually sit in front of somebody and get a live critique on their work on their phone or their iPad Mm -hmm. or their laptop you know they could just show somebody 20 images and get this feedback then it became um, I want five minutes just to ask marketing questions or you could go to words with Damali or you could go to Facebook ads with you or you could go and talk personal branding or you could go and talk posing or you could go and talk styling or you could go and then all of a sudden people would just come out of the mentor line and line up again and come out of the line and so we just keep putting all the mentors out there because they get to just a speak to people all day but you know you're on Facebook the whole year with this community you finally get to be with them in person and see them face to face it's all the people you've seen posting for the last however many years you get to sit in front of them and ask them questions specifically for you about your folio about your work about your lighting it's really incredible and you yeah. just see speakers instructors mentors everywhere they're just sitting everywhere with groups of people they're out you'll see david sir outdoor photograph making tiktoks you'll see matthew jordan <laughs> over here literally 20 people around him giving a matthew jordan sermon you know just absolutely being matthew and it's like you just see people that you've wanted to meet everywhere and it's so cool so that's what i love about those one-on-ones yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's super cool. So we are coming up on the one hour mark. So I do want to just kind of recap everything because I know we've thrown a lot of information out there. So again, TPM is coming back really soon in March. And what it is this year is that it's two amazing days with six industry leading speakers. So that's three speakers each day, which has been our format in the past. Um, We are going to have a room exclusively to us. That is our own shooting bay room with our own exclusive TPM styled shooting bays. And there are going to be more than 15 of those bays. We're going to have our two exclusive TPM parties that are, you know, one of the things that people just love and think about when they think about the TPM experience, which is the silent disco and the karaoke party. There's going to be so many opportunities to network, not just with the TPM, TPS community, but with everything that WPPI has to offer as well, because these two days are enveloped in the week that is WPPI. And you are going to get access when you buy your TPM conference ticket to everything that WPPI has to offer. You get that um, platinum VIP WPPI pass. So you get everything that comes with it, which some of those things are, um, you can see you know, potentially over 66 uh, speaker sessions. Uh, You get access to purchase and add on different photo shops and workshops. Uh, uh, Sorry, photo walks. I think I said photo shops. (laughs) You get access to photo walks and workshops. Um, You have the show floor with 80 plus vendors. Um, So again, this is almost triple the size of the TPM trade show. So this is really, really cool. Um, And the WPPI trade show floor is going to have its own shooting bays that you're going to get access to. So that's 20 plus shooting bays. So the amount of shooting bays that you're going to have access to is a lot. If you're a shooting bay lover, you're going to love this. Um, And uh, WPPI has its own parties and events that you also have access to. So you're really getting so much more and you're getting it for a lower price point. You're getting it for $7.99, which is the lowest price point that this conference has ever been. Um, Our shootout, which is a lot like our shooting bay room this time, was priced between $2,000 and $2,500. So this is an incredible deal. And then TPM most recently was priced at $1,800. So $7.99 is just I really think it's an incredible deal. When I heard this price, I was like, oh my gosh, (laughs) like we are really opening this up to everyone. And that's awesome because I think that people really should get to experience this because it really does just fast track your trajectory in your photo career. It helps you build relationships. It helps you get your um, portfolio built. It helps you just learn more and just become a better business owner and a better photographer. And you just get to have fun too. Let's be real. It's a really fun week. Um, 
So what you're going to do next is the com- the conference tickets don't go on sale today. They go on sale on the 15th. So if you want to make sure that you have priority access to get your tickets, please go to the portraitmasters.com website and click on 2024 conference for more information. Um, And you can see the email list button and just put your email in and make sure you're on the list so that you can buy those tickets as soon as they become available on November uh, November 15th. Um, Sue, is there anything else that you want to share with people before we go? Be in Vegas. That's yeah. that. See you in <laughs> Vegas. See you in what Vegas. else is there? Have a wonderful holiday. It's holiday season. You're going to wrap up the end of the year. I was already starting to think about what, you know, I started, I picked a couple of seminars that I'm going to travel to next year. And I was like going to map them out because a couple of seminars came up on me and I missed planning for them. So I was like, you know, we're talking about a show in March, but first week in March is going to come up real quick because we all have businesses and we all have families and we're all going into holiday season. So this holiday season just goes crazy, crazy time. And then all of a sudden it's January and you are launching off again. And you know, businesses always slow in January because you just came off a big haul, usually in November and December. So come into this new year, planning what you're going to do so that you've got a little bit of runway there because it's always um, the most exciting time of year and also the most frustrating time of year, time of year, <laughs> especially because most people are in winter and that yeah. really, you know, can impede some of us shooting outside or, you know, in natural light. So it's just one of those things, just get prepared for next year. And uh, I look forward to seeing, uh, I will look forward to seeing you in Vegas. Yes. Well, I look forward to seeing you, Sue, in Vegas, and I look forward to seeing everyone in our community in Vegas. I know this is going to be different, but it's going to be so epic, and I'm really, really excited about it. So thanks for joining me today, Sue, for this announcement, and we'll see everyone in Vegas. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.